So hey guys, um, today I'm just gonna show you how the hell did I get these icons, these nice icons, these icons. How the hell did I made them or did I get them? Did I? Yeah, anything. How did I get? Them? Yeah. First, you have to go to the Play Store. And you have to download two applications, two pretty nice applications. Oh, seems like an application. So, uh, let me put it Yeah, that was my Galaxy Tab ringing order. So, you have to download an app named. Metro Station Icon Pack, yeah, that's yeah. The icon is like this if you want to see, but you don't download it incorrectly or you can download. You can download this app for free for your any device, any Android device, and. The next app is oh wait, like the next app is this not this look desktop visualizer. Yeah, desktop visualizer. Yeah, I already installed this app. As you can see, the icon is like this. It's an Android icon. That is so. Uh, well, uh, anything. It, this app is also free on the uh, on the Play Store. You can download it. So <coughs> sorry for that. Uh, the problem with the touch is, is you know, I wanted to make these icons over here also, but the problem with the touch is, uh, I think, three. The touch with until you know until touches UX nature UX for the Galaxy S3 that is fixed there. But the problem in this touch with and the next touch with are in touch with not the touch with UX nature UX for the Galaxy S3 is that if you want to change these icons, you have to do it in the app drawer, you cannot change them here in the home screen. So you cannot put change these icons right now. You have to put the icon pack and you have to be rooted, see that you have anything. It's not that easy. Then the whole thing will change and that's not so easy and that's something professional. You have to know, so I'm not gonna do that. Right now maybe <coughs> later. So First, let me, for example, make a icon for what? What? Let me make an icon for. I don't know. Any app, for example, Skype. Yeah, Skype. You open up Metro Station. You find out the i no, and uh, you find out the icon you want. It's based on name. No, based on no. Yeah, you know icon name. You know, I how to say A to Z, for example. Yeah, that's a better way to say. Um, uh, the problem with this is you cannot search. You don't have any way to search. You don't have any freaking way to search. That's so bad. If they put it on next versions, it will be so good. I like it if they put it. So, you got two icons for the Skype. Yeah. Which one do you like? I like this full Skype. You can change the color. As you can see, Skype is. As you know, Skype is, you know, blue. Yeah, I got it here. Skype is kind of blue. 
I don't know what is this blank icon over here, but yeah, you know, Skype is blue. And I just want to put it in blue or here. Yeah, some kind of blue. Yeah, and you click on this. You'll say that saved icon to anywhere. You have to go to desktop visualizer and wait for the focus. Yeah. You can select icon pack, but it cannot support the you know metro station. You have it has to be on any other icon pack. I don't know. Let me check. No need, no need. Okay. You have to go and select the icon for the. You can select anything. You can select from icon packs. You can select for application icons. Or you can put other application icons or the application icon the same thing. Or I don't know what is add-ons. Oh wait, no need. Select icon from image file. You have to select this if you want that icon. And then you select gallery. And I don't want to show you this part. Wait. Let me zoom in so much so you can see. So, let me come back. And this is my metro station folder. So, you select the icon you want. I got so many icons over here. I select this one. Yeah, there's some the color is somehow near the sky itself. So these are all my applications. Yeah. Of course you can also select our activities, for example, settings or anything other activities, you know, any other shortcut. But I want to select applications right now because Skype is an app application, it's not an activity. For sure, I don't know. But Skype, yeah, that's here. <coughs> also, you can change the name of the thing that you want to be on your home screen. For example, you can put your name or anything you want. So, for example, only S. I want it to be Skype. But uh, for you, just let you know that. You can, oh, uh, another thing is you have to uh, be on an empty home screen over here. Okay. Uh, my home screen doesn't have any space, so it will not make the icon. So I just want to put it something, for example, my name. For example, that's my name, or here. And the other thing that you have to know is because the application is installed on a C card or anything, eh, you better put uh, tick this encode icon. Mm, it's better. Trust me, it's better. Then click OK. Um, then. You come to your home screen, great, and the icon is here. As you can see, the name is also uh, my name. So, I delete it, but as you can see, this is really time consuming, but when you do it, it does really worth it. Now, I made so many icons over here, then I want to put it on our home screens and our manage them. I just made the names Angry Birds, Angry Birds Season, Angry Birds Rio, Angry Birds Space and you know this is cool, this is cool browser, this is stock browser, dolphin, real calculator, calculator, Skype, Facebook, Dropbox, YouTube, YouTube Remote and Titanium back. So I just want to manage them later um, because now I'm in my exams and I don't have enough time. I'm just making videos for you to enjoy.
I learned something. I share my information about you know everything. So I like the back of my device. So today I finish it. We will finish it on the back. Yeah, power things here. So. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.